Welcome to Online Payroll Services. Today's topic is our direct deposit features within our accounts. Now here's a list of all the employees within our specific account and any employee can have direct deposit. In this particular case we'll choose an employee and we'll ask them for their bank account and routing numbers for checking and or savings accounts. Now on the checking accounts it's pretty simple. The routing number, the nine digit numbers listed at the bottom and the account numbers listed at the bottom of the check as well. So what we're going to do in this particular case is we're going to choose John L. Contact as our example here. And we'll notice that John has the ability to route his paycheck to any number of accounts, any number of savings and checking accounts that he wishes. In this particular case, we have two checking accounts with this employee and one savings account. Again, John could have had 15 checking accounts and two savings accounts if he wanted. But in our example, he's going to take $50 and send it to savings, and $55 he's going to send to a separate checking account. And the remainder, or the net of the account, will go into a second checking account. And that was John's choice. In this particular case, to set up the checking and savings account, we're going to need the right routing and account numbers. And as we've shown before, for checking accounts, it's pretty simple. The routing number uh, is the nine digit transit number at the bottom and the account numbers there as well. But for savings accounts, my advice is to call the bank or the institution where you're working with and get those accounts numbers from them. Get the numbers from your bank or institution so you, we can make sure that your payroll is routed to the correct location. Now within the uh, calculation methods, you can either have a fixed amount, a percentage of the check, and or the net of, or which is the remainder of the check sent to each of the checking and savings accounts. So in our example we had fifty dollars going one location but we could easily have said twenty percent of the check goes into savings and eighty percent of the check goes into checking. Or we could say fifty dollars goes into this savings account, twenty percent goes into this savings account and the remainder of the check would go into this particular location. So all of that is available to the individual uh, user. Now this demonstration has been brought to you by Online Payroll Services Company, so please visit us at www.onlinepayrollservicescompany.com.